Alongside Davis Sanchez, Matt Dunnigan, Milt Stiegel in a shutout victory for the BC Lions in their home opener. And when you look at Vernon Adams, he's had two very solid games so far. Early on in the first half, it was all Sean White. It was the kicking. But then they got a little momentum, a little bit of a groove in the second half of this football game. He ends up with 312 yards. And honestly, he's looked really nice in this offense so far, Matt. Yeah, and I was really pleased with his progression, too, and how he played particularly in the second half. First half, I thought he was staring everything down. He was looking at one side and he'd throw that side and it was tough for him. He was having to make contested throws and there were contested catches on the back end. Second half, he started looking one way and throwing the other and he's looking the defense off. He'd look to a swing and a flat and they come across the middle. And I really think that he was settled down the second half when we saw what Vernon Adams can do within a Jordan McSimmick's offense. So when you have that type of uh, ability, I think halftime adjustments and good rapport with your receivers, it's only going to get better when these guys get healthier too, right? And once again, I thought that Tyquan Mizell settled in as a running back for the BC Lions, replacing James Butler, who he knows is a hell of a tire cat now. But this kid looks like he belongs. Milt, I really, uh, I really like what they did offensively. They didn't push the envelope. Yep. They just played things close to the best, and it was certainly way too much for the Edmonton Elks at this Very point. Very impressive by VA and that offense, and what about that defense? And uh, defensive coordinator, your former teammate, my former nemesis, good buddy, Ryan Phillips, he got a little perturbed to me when I said Winnipeg Blue Bombers had the best defense. Well, I was like, well, show me. That's exactly what they did to do. <laughs> and I know people are going to say, well, they were playing against the Elks, but you hold a professional team to zero points? That's impressive. Taylor Cornelius was getting pressured all game long, only produced 92 yards passing. Kevin Brown, we never noticed him all game long. So this is impressive by this defense. Ryan Phillips is an up and coming defensive coordinator in this league. He's doing a great job. Hopefully one day he gets the opportunity to be a head coach. But the test is going to come next week. I'm setting it up when they play the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. A lot of people, including everyone in this panel, is really looking forward to that game. Good teams can win when they're not playing great. And that's kind of what I took away from today. I don't think this was a great performance by the Lions, but you see that and they still won handedly. So that, I mean, that's telling me something. It's the way, the way they're winning. We saw drops from the receivers. You know, we saw VA, like Maddie said, he didn't think VA looked great. In the uh, first half, second half. Rich initially, he right. settled in. So, you know, uh, things that we're not certain about, uh, and they're still able, you know, to put up numbers in, and win handily, uh, to me, that's always been a sign through time of teams that are really good and still beat teams and, and not playing their best football. So to me, um, I'm really impressed what I see with BC so far. That's exactly what reasons. the doctor ordered. It's what Omar Dolman ordered. You know, you put all these people in the stands, you put on an event, and you put a 22 nothing shutout on the Elks, a division rival. And hey, don't forget about LL Cool okay, we, we know your bestie LL Cool J was here in Milled. I know you wore the hat for that reason. Now, you know what? There were some good highlights in the game. Yes. But the best highlight came yes. when the panel yes. decided <laughs> oh, yeah. to get a little aggressive. Oh, yeah. And Davis Sanchez takes the milk seagull to the ground. Yeah. It's like we're watching a highlight well, from the 90s Olet. all over again. That Davis didn't tackle like that when he would tackle my shoestrings. But you weren't looking, so that's why I hit you like that. Goodness. Don't worry. They're still friends. That was a good shot. All right. I think so. <laughs> Let's head it back to Sports Center. Vernon, first half, it looked like the offense just wasn't in sync, especially compared to last week in Calgary. What changed for you in the second half? We just got locked in, man. I settled in. Uh, the defense, they came out uh, and did stuff that we weren't really expecting at first. I wasn't expecting, so, you know, I just had to make adjustments. Uh, and, man, by the grace of God, man, we came out here and we got this win, a beautiful win here at the home stadium, so it was good. Yeah, what about just the whole atmosphere, the concert, the, the excitement around this game and to finish it off with a win? Yeah, man, it was great, man. Like, like, like you said, whole atmosphere. We had, I don't know how many fans here, but it was packed, man. And uh, just I'm glad we got the win for them. Uh, got some things we need to clean up, but uh, we're going to get right and get ready for Winnipeg. Yeah, you, and you talk about Winnipeg and just the resilience you guys have had with the number of receivers that have gone down. You lose Dom late in this game. How have you been able to kind of keep things going despite that and now a big test coming up? Yeah, man, all our guys are pros, man. Next man up, man. Um, you know, I'm praying for Dom and I pray he get back right in time next week and uh, 
We'll see what happened, and we'll just keep working. Thanks for this. Thank you. Appreciate it. Go Lions.